Hey everybody, in this video we are going to show you how to take a graphic uh, that's black and white and import it into Blender. Now just to give you an example of what it ends up looking like or a possible way it looks it is sort of like this. You'll see that I had this picture here. I just scooped this from online and it's black and white and then the whole process eventually gets us this here, right? So it's basically the graphic turned into a curve and extruded out. Okay, so it can be very useful to do in some of your 3D modeling. So let's just get to it. First thing you want to do, I'm going to do it with this wolf here. So you get the wolf picture, you download it. Once you download it, what you want to do is you want to open it up, and there's a few different programs can do what they call save in vector graphics format. One of the free programs that's really good is Inkscape. So here's Inkscape's page. You can just go download this for Windows, Linux, or Mac. And then once you get it, you've got this program that looks like this. Uh, all you want to do now is just open up your graphic. So file open. I'm going to go find the wolf. So there it is. Open. And this does really weird stuff on my computer, but there it is. All opened up. And what I want to do now is I want to do something called trace to bitmap. This here was just a JPEG or a GIF or a ping. It's not really made with curves. The vector graphics format, what it does is it actually sort of connects a bunch of dots with mathematical curves to make the shape and make it look really nice. So to turn this picture into that, the first step is go path, trace bitmap. And so when you open up the trace bitmap, it'll give you this window. I'm going to ask to remove the background. I think it works either way, but remove background will take out the white. And just go, you can say update here if you want. Or live preview hit OK oh nothing's happening now this happened to me the first time and I was puzzled why it was doing nothing see your little selection here when you actually open up the wolf graphic it's not actually selected so click on the wolf once and there you can see that this part of the layer is selected now we can do it path trace bitmap there it is you can hit update right if it's not showing and hit OK and that's it. There was a little change, but this window stays open. So we shut this window. And that's really it. Let's save this now in a different format that Blender can take in. And this format is called the vector format. So let's go save as. I'm going to call it wolf. And in the drop menu here, I think you can take either of these. But I'm going to play it safe and do plain SVG. And then save it. Done. I'm just going to shut that down. Okay, and go back to Blender. Now in my Blender file, let me just delete. Now I can leave that mountain there. I'll put the cursor there, and I'm going to go File, Import, and you should have Scalable Vector Graphics. Now if you don't have this, you might be working with an older version of Blender. It's actually a plugin. You can probably hunt it online. Go Blender, Scalable Vector Graphics Import, and you'll find it. But the more recent versions of Blender should have this down there listed for you. So you select it. It's going to ask you to go find the file. So I'll go onto the desktop. Um, logo. I'm trying to see where my browser is. Let's take the wolf. Import. And you get this. Now you may think nothing happened. But check out in your list of objects here. This actually happened. A new curve came in. Okay, It's really tiny. And I find this happens with most of them when I do this procedure. So all you do is just make sure it's selected. Hit S to scale. And keep scaling. Bigger and bigger. I think I did something weird there. Hit S to scale. Make it bigger. And you'll see that you eventually get your wolf. Uh, you'll notice that it's flat. And you'll notice that its origin is over here. Like the origin isn't in the center. So let's take care of each one separately. The first thing I'm going to do, to build this up, you actually have two options. Since this is a curve, you can actually go right here onto the Curve Data tab and scroll down a little bit and you have Extrude. Just pull Extrude up a bit and this is actually working. Uh, this black doesn't look too good. Let me just go to the Materials and take the black. Let's bring it up a bit. So there you see it. And you'll see the extrude works nicely. Leaving this as a curve, 
I think it's a good idea because you can always go back after. You can modify the extrude. You can do a little beveling if you want. Set how uh, fine detailed the edge beveling is. It's not a bad option. And so that's one way to do it. Now, how do you move this origin to the center of the object? Because that's sort of frustrating to have to pick it up from over here. Is with the object selected, you can just go object, transform, move the origin to the geometry. And it should put it near the center. And there it goes. Okay, so not bad. So that was curve two. Now I'm going to push that to the side. Okay, so you see it actually works quite nicely. I'm going to do it one more time, but a slightly different way, just to show you. I'm going to go File, Import, Scalable, grab the wolf. I have another curve added now. I'm going to scale it. Okay, a little bigger. I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'm not going to use the data tab of the curve. This one, I'm just going to convert this to a mesh. But I'll actually do this first. I'll just change the color back because the black gets hard to see. Okay, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be in object mode. I'm going to convert it to a mesh by going object, convert to mesh. The hot key for that, by the way, is just Alt-C. So Alt-C, convert to mesh. Now that this is actually a mesh, you can hit Tab, go into Edit Mode. You can select All. You'll see it's got all these points, and you can hit E to extrude. And then you can Tab and go back to Object Mode. And that's really it. Same result either way. One way, you still have a curve. That's applying the extrude. The other way, you actually have a mesh now. So the curve, it's not a curve anymore. These are vertices in a mesh that you could, you know, go and edit, move around. Um, if dealing with flat objects like this, depends what your goal is, right? But there you go. That's how you can basically bring any of your black and white items and basically import them in and turn them into little extruded shapes. Not bad. Thanks for watching.